Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then make sure to comment your in-game name below in the comment section. And of course, if you want to play Aragon for yourself, then click on the link in the description. This will take you straight to the Aragon Discord server, and from there, just go to the download tab and install the game. A quick shout out to Dark Iron for winning the last episode's giveaway. Alright, so in my last couple of videos, I've talked about finally being able to get back into combat, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a little bit of combat and a little bit of skilling just to get my stats up a little bit and also to earn some AP. I'm going to start off getting base 70s. That way I can actually equip all of my Barrow's equipment. That way I can do some bossing, and then I'm going to be doing some fishing and maybe even some woodcutting as well. I'm going to be doing my Cyclops kills. As you can see here, I just have a bunch of tasks that I can do on this board like i mentioned i do have some cyclopses that i can kill i also have some barrows runs i can do and i can do the fight caves six times that's a pretty easy one usually it's up there like 10 or 13 times but six is pretty easy to do and of course the fishing and the wood cutting like i said as well so we're doing a little bit of a mix of everything there should be quite a bit of progress and ap farming within this video and also i'm going to be getting my stats up so it's a win all around and like i said before when it comes to the combat training i'm not really going to do too much much i just have to get to 70 strength 70 defense and 70 magic i already have a 70 ranged and attack so this will take anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes i'm not exactly sure how quick it's going to be with magic because i have prestiged that quite a bit but it should be pretty quick i didn't really go over any of the weekly pvm task because i just didn't get anything that was that great i can do skeletal so horror and giant mole and outside of that it's just a slayer task and i'm also not sure if this is true but i think it's because when the weekly task reset they are based around your skills so i need to make sure i have all 99s by the time the weekly task does reset that way i have the best opportunity to get all of the best task rather than just a slayer task and skeletal horror and it's just not really worth it when you consider how much time those take and how much ap you get from it so yeah i need to get a bunch of 99s for the next reset and i should have some better bossing task and even skilling task to be honest i don't really have the best skilling task in the world they're not bad but it could just be better oh actually now that i think about it i should maybe keep one smithing for forever because i don't want to do any bar task it takes forever to make those bars especially on an iron man when you have to mine all the ores so if i keep this at one smithing maybe i'll never have any sort of smithing task for my weekly task and i can just kind of ignore that skill since i've already gotten it to 99 once i'm also not too sure if i am going to be prestiging my combats as soon as i get them to 99 because i do want to do pvm and i don't really want to waste time here at the rabbits or at bandits trying to get back to 70 or even 99 combats just so I can PVM. Those are some of the easiest skills to prestige. It's just that when I'm AFKing, I would rather not be at somewhere like Bandits right now. I need to get all the skill tickets I can. So when I'm training, I'm going to probably have to be at Rabbits or doing some sort of Slayer, and that's going to get in the way of a lot of other progress. So as of right now, until I get my Primal Tools and my Elder Harpoon, I might just skip the prestigious four combats. If you guys remember, at the beginning of this series, I got this Ivan Staff so I could do Barrows with it, but it ended up not really being that great, and I could just train up my magic really quickly and use higher level spells anyways, so it wasn't super useful at the time, but I'm glad I got it now because I can actually... What the hell? Oh, it was under me. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm glad I can use it now because it's taking a little bit longer to level up my magic, and this is a really good bridge weapon to get me from a 50 to 70, but that's now base 70s, so I can use all of my combat gear that I want to use for all of the pvm tasks coming up in the future and even the cyclops tasks that i plan on doing today and now that i look at my bank the biggest problem right now is not the skill tickets because i have over a million of those because i've continued to afk thieve but the problem are the upgrade tokens and the upgrade scrolls i don't have any scrolls those are the most important and hardest to get and i don't have any tokens and although those are pretty easy to get i don't have any and i'm on an iron man so i gotta figure out a way to get that usually you can get a bunch of tokens through your daily rewards or loot keys or whatever but if you want to farm them consistently you have to make your items into dust through the deconstructor and they're pretty expensive when you do that 3500 dust for one token and i'm also going to need scrolls as well and that's going to be 25,000 just for a single 
set of scrolls. I could get them from the loyalty shop, but it takes time to get those points, and I only have 76 points because I used up all of these points in the last episode. I could get a couple of tokens that way, but I can't even get a single scroll. So I'm going to have to start farming up a lot of items to turn into dust because that's going to be very important moving forward, especially since I have a million upgrades that I have to do just for skilling stuff, and then combat stuff comes after that. So it's going to be a long grind of dusting items. One of my weekly tasks is actually Barrow's Runs, and I get three items per Barrow's Run, so I have to do 26 of those. So I should get right around 100 items to dust from Barrow's, and that would get me a lot of dust, and I could probably start doing a couple of upgrades with that, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to stick to the plan that I originally started with, but maybe tomorrow I'll just go back to back and upload another hardcore video and do the Barrow's Runs during that because it does take some time. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe my plans will change a little bit today because I do want to train up my agility to 85 because I did get a skill scroll while AFK thieving and I completely forgot about it until just now and with this skill scroll I have to do 11 advanced laps at the gnome agility course and I need 85 agility in order to do that I'm currently at 72 so I'm going to train up here at the barbarian course because I do not want to go to the wilderness course just in case I get PK'd that would be a terrible way to lose my hardcore status so yeah I'm going to go up about 10 levels here and just go back to the gnome course and do 11 of those advanced laps and get my skillers backpack easy as that there's definitely no way i don't get the backpack i mean i'm on kc like 10 at this point so i'm definitely due not really there's people who have gotten like 50 scrolls done and never got a backpack but either way i'm just gonna get it because i want to get it so let's just go ahead and get it This is taking much longer than expected. I started in the low 70s. It might have been 72 or 73. I can't quite remember, but I'm up to 81 right now. However, every single level is taking about 10 laps just because I'm getting 30k XP per lap because this is a lower level agility course. Obviously, 30k XP is a ton when you compare it to your standard RuneScape rates, but you know, just in general for private servers, that's not the greatest per lap. Usually people just go here from like 30 to 50 and then they start using using the wilderness agility course and they get a lot of xp from that and agility is one of the quicker skills on the server or at least it used to be because the wilderness course is really good xp but unfortunately i'm limited to this area because if i go to the wilderness i might die every now and then you'll see some pkers there because they're trying to just annoy you or they're trying to farm a, a, a very low amount of pk tickets for whatever reason so it's really just not worth the risk for me so i'm stuck here getting a pretty low amount of xp compared to what most other players are able to get again 30k xp is still quite a bit when you think about standard runescape rates so this will only take me like an hour total to finish up it just could be a lot better that's basically all i'm saying it could be a lot better also a really great thing about agility as well is that you can level it up to 99 pretty easily through afk skilling right now i'm doing my afk thieving as we all know i have to get like 20 million skill tickets or whatever it is but once i'm done with that i can start doing my afk skilling and agility is one of the skills that will be raised up to 99 pretty quickly while doing that so i'll get a bunch of free prestigious and i really won't have to train agility too much after that i'm just doing it right now because of the skill scroll that's the only reason why i'm really doing it at the moment this is actually my first time ever doing this course and it is insane i had some sort of like anime wall running thing over there and as you just saw i'm jumping from these poles and now it looks like i'm going to be going into a hole so nice the xp difference is insanely good here as well obviously this is a tier 85 course instead of a like 30 or 35 course like the barbarian agility course so instead of doing 10 laps just for one level i'm going to be getting a level every like four or five laps here so it's definitely much better okay i'm finally done with that it wasn't really planned to do this today i kind of went over this already i just saw the skill scroll in my bank and decided to do it but i think that's kind of what threw me off and why it felt like this took so much longer it only took like over an hour just barely over an hour so it's not like the longest grind in the world it was just very unexpected and that's probably why it felt just so much longer than what it was anyways we finished the scroll let's go ahead and open this up and get our free backpack damn dude never lucky but at least there's some good supplies here you know some good resources some potions at least not the worst in the world but i definitely want that backpack but anyways i got over 2200 fish to catch right now so i'm just gonna sit here and afk for a little bit 
it and just click my preset button every couple seconds and that'll be that not much to go over when it goes to the fishing grind i will get about what is it four or six ap from doing this i might even get a little bit of extra because of passive achievements that i might get but yeah i'll just sit here and fish a bit i'm even gonna start editing today's video while i do this so i'm gonna have a little client size right here just like you see right now and i'll keep it like this while fishing just because it's easy to keep this on one screen and the editing on the other screen i also have all my recording stuff on so i can't do two full screens so yeah i'm just gonna keep the client size small like this and i'll change it back once i'm done i did actually get a skill scroll but i completely forgot to show it to you guys and i banked it a little while ago but it is a wood cutting one i have to do 222 dream trees i'm pretty sure so i can do that in the future definitely that's a very easy task to get through also this is going by much quicker than expected i do have the plenio fish perk and that makes it so that i have a 33 percent chance of catching two fish i think at the same time so although this seemed like it was going to be one of the longer grinds that i was going to have to go through within today's upload it's actually being a bit quicker than expected maybe even quicker than agility but maybe it's also just because this is afk i don't really have to do much but click my presets every now and then so it's very easy and it seems like it's going quicker than the agility so it's just a little bit weird how it all worked out today i'm still not done though i got a thousand extra fish to go so i'm basically only halfway finished and i still do have cyclops kills to do later on today so we're not really done you know what's funny i was sitting here for a moment and i just glanced over to my inventory and saw a manta ray sitting in there so i got a little bit worried that i misclicked and went to a different fishing spot and just sat there for a while but obviously not because that is just the rune light manta ray logo so yeah it's not a manta ray in my inventory it is just the game and i clearly suck at the game so every now and then i do have a bob a moment like that i'm just thinking like like what the fuck is what this manta ray but there's nothing with it it's just there anyways all caught up with the editing there really wasn't that much to do i've only gotten about halfway through this video so while i was fishing i was editing and now i'm caught up so we're back to the regular client size and next time i show you a clip it's probably because i'm done catching 662 carob wands okay so the task is over i had to get over 2,000 of those as we went over and i now have 2,235 of them in my bank but i also have an extra 400 of them cooked so i have basically 3,000 at this point if i just went and cooked all the other ones so I think I'm okay when it comes to food for the future. I don't really think I'm going to have to do any more wilderness tasks in order to get more of those. I got plenty of them. And finally, I can use my Torax set again and do some sort of combat on this account because we're going to go do those Cyclops kills that I've mentioned a couple times throughout this episode. And it's just nice knowing that I'm not completely restricted to skilling from now on. I'm going to be doing plenty of it for the AP like we just did with the fishing. But now I can do boss tasks. I can do mini game tasks. I can do just simple miscellaneous tasks like this. So it's going to be great. This right here is my first time I've ever gone to the Warriors Guild and started collecting tokens with the new graphics and PC setup and I never even noticed that this had this type of lighting. It looks really nice. It even bounces off my armor so pretty cool. It's just you know it's nothing really crazy. I just never have seen it before but I'm sure all of you know that because most people aren't using a school library computer. So now that I've upgraded I can finally appreciate the small things like this. Also one more thing is that I did get base 70s for my combats earlier but i only have base 70s for my combats so this might take a little while to actually kill the cyclopses at first but i should level up pretty quickly and get things going within a reasonable manner when it comes to my dps of course i can't do any bossing right now with the levels being the way they are but like i said after i do some cyclops kills and a couple of other things things will start speeding up because I'll get those levels pretty quickly. Right here, I might have to zoom in on it because it's kind of small, but I do have a daily task of killing Cyclopses here at the Warriors Guild, so not only am I going to get the AP from the weekly task, but also a couple of extra AP from the daily task. Alright, and that was the last kill right there, so I'm done with all of my weekly and daily task grinding for today. I should have a pretty decent amount of AP on this board here. I did get 8 earlier from Agility, but I didn't show you guys because I didn't think it was really necessary necessary but either way with that 8 ap plus 14 right here that's 22 ap that we got today just from a pretty quick grind i was only doing this for like four and a half hours so maybe quick for some of you maybe long for some of you but a pretty solid day i feel like and it could be even better if i get something nice from these keys let's go ahead and open them up and see what happens maybe a dragon item no nothing really too good we got an upgrade token and some other random stuff but nothing too great okay well this is a completely different key that i just opened 
opened up, I used a rare loot key and got 10 AP points from that. That is amazing. The best reward I've ever gotten from a loot key. And now that all of that is completed and I've redeemed all of my AP that I've gotten today, I have 175. Actually, hold on because I do have another achievement that I just got. Good Lord, I got 10 achievement points from that and more daily loot keys. Okay, let's open up these 10 loot keys and see if the luck continues somehow, some way, and it does. I got a dragon fire shield, which is very important because of what I'm about to tell you guys next. And that is that I have quite a few items here in my bank that I didn't really know of until just now. I kind of forgot about them, but I will be turning these into dust and I will be doing the barrows grind tomorrow. So I will be having a lot of dust coming into the account and I will be able to do quite a few upgrades from that in tomorrow's episode. Oh yeah, and the new total is of course 185 AP. I, I don't know what I started with, but I got a ton of AP today. 